I am the very model of a modern Trinitarian, unburdened by the battles waged by yesteryear contrarians, but armed instead with endless helpful metaphors and similes to easily describe the most complex of heaven's mysteries. Like God is water, ice and steam, the different states of H2O, a shamrock, clover, trillium, or other three-leaf plant you know. An egg, a flame, an apple, anything made of three elements. Or any other three-in-one occurrence one can supplement. 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 supplement. So when you hear some preaching on the Sunday of the Trinity, you'll likely hear it take on what was classically a heresy. But by articulating God in ways utilitarian, one is the very model of a modern Trinitarian. Adoptionists say Jesus was a man till God adopted him. Apollinarists say it was the mind of Christ God dwelled within. The Arians denied the whole idea of Christ's divinity. While Docetists disputed any claims of physicality. The Pneumatomachians raised their qualms about the spirits placed. The monophysitists removed sweet Jesus from our human race. While monothelitists allowed that he was human on one half. Reducing the incarnation to some underfinished substance gaff. Reducing incarnation to some underfinished substance gaff. Reducing incarnation to some underfinished substance gaff. Reducing incarnation to some underfinished substance substance gaff. Nestorians say Jesus was the union of the flesh and word. Sabellians ignore the personhood of God's mysterious thirds. Though each of these heresies were shunned in cancels antiquarian, they found their way into the minds of modern Trinitarians. Within his creed, great Athanasius told us what we don't believe. With lots of wiggle room for explanations he could not conceive. And in that fertile territory, modern preachers run our race, describing the complexity of God as something commonplace. We do it to appease our time's most frustrating quality. The need to know has left the world resistant to God's mystery. This ancient understanding is more than divine arithmetic. The three and one and one and three is not some great dogmatic trick. The three and one and one and three is not some great dogmatic trick. That's right. The three and one and one and three is not some great dogmatic trick. Sing it, sister, wherever you are. The three and three is not some great dogmatic, dogmatic trick. So if you hear me preaching on the Sunday of the Trinity, and if you hear me riff on what was classically a heresy, I'm just articulating God in ways utilitarian because I am the model of a modern Trinitarian. <laughs> <laughs>